In the 101 items that were included on the third positive indigenization list, some of the major items include the 30 km range LARO's long range reconnaissance and observation system, 155 mm 52 caliber mounted artillery gun system, 30 km range weapon locating radar, heavy weight torpedoes for ships, advanced light weight torpedoes, MF star multifunction surveillance and threat radar for ships. IAC Mod C Weapon Launch Control System for Ships, Naval Anti-Drone System, Next Generation Offshore Patrol Vessel, Ship-Based MR SAM, High Endurance Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, Autonomous Mine Countermeasure Vessel, Supersonic Weapon Imitating Flying Target, 250 km Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, Long Range Bomb of 500 kg and 1000 kg, Quad Weapons Carrier for Fighter Jets, Medium Altitude Long Endurance UAV, Optical Landing System for Aircraft Carrier, Medium Range Naval Anti-Ship Missile, Submarine Launched Cruise Missile, 5.56mm Ammunition for Tava Rifles, Naval Utility Helicopter, 150km Range Loitering Munitions, Marine Grade Aluminium Alloys and Anti-Submarine Warfare Sonar System. The RDO's Instruments Research and Development Establishment has completed the design work on the infrared search and track system for the Tejas Mark II program. The DRDO will soon select a local industry partner to start development manufacturing and testing of the prototype. It will provide a target acquisition range for non-afterburning aerial targets over 50 km facing up to the target's front, and over 100 km facing up to the rear, with laser range finder with ranges of 10 km for aerial targets. It will also replace the Russian origin OLS-30 used in the Su-30 aircraft, and Indian Air Force is looking to procure at least 100 units for the Su-30 aircraft under the Buy Indian category. In the April 2022 publication of the RDO's Technology Focus, it has been mentioned that the RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has been working on the design and development of an unmanned ground combat vehicle based on the Arjun Mark 1A main battle tank, that will feature the 120mm main gun as the primary weapon. The DRDO plans to employ the Indigis Geographical Information System, that will provide the unmanned tank operator with a visual perspective of the operational terrain, and the location of the tank, and will be used to generate a feasible route for the tank to follow and reach an operator-defined target location. The Commandant of Philippines Marine Corps Major General Nestor Herico has said, that Philippines Marine Corps has activated its shore-based anti-ship missile battalion, and this newly activated battalion will be operating the BrahMos missile, which is the best anti-ship missile system on the planet, which can quickly detect track chase and destroy targets. He also added, that the Philippines Marine Corps is expected to receive a coastal battery in 2023 from the Indian defense firm BrahMos Aerospace, that will consist of three mobile autonomous launchers with three missile tubes each, along with the tracking systems. The DRDO has transferred the technology of Optronic Submarine Periscope to the private sector firm Paras Defense and Space Technologies in form of a licensing agreement for production. The Optronic Submarine Periscope system comprises of Optronic Head, Image Processing Unit, and Human Machine Interface. It provides reconnaissance surveillance and automatic target detection, identification of target, as well as improved situational awareness. The DRDO has transferred the technology of the electro-optical tracking system with electro-optical sensors for directed energy weapon to two private sector firms, Motion Dynamics Private Limited and Benegg Design and Manufacturing Private Limited. It is a electro-optical stabilized gimbal system on a static and dynamic platform, integrated with video tracker which facilitates battlefield surveillance, target acquisition, and auto-tracking UAVs and drones during both day and night conditions at a range of 5 kilometers. 
the DRDO has transferred the technology of 125mm fin stabilized armor piercing discarding sabot practice ammunition to the munitions in India Limited for production, which will be used mainly by T-72 and T-90 tanks of the Indian Army. The ammunition is capable to destroy all known tank armor up to a direct shooting range of 2.5 km. The DRDO has transferred the technology of the Avenger S-50 airborne electro-optical system to private sector firm Tunbo Imaging, which is an airborne four-axis mechanically stabilized electro-optical payload for aerial and naval surveillance. It captures images simultaneously in the visible short wave infrared and medium wave infrared with detection range of 55 km. The DRDO has transferred the technology of the Druti Digital Radar Warning Receiver to Bharat Electronics Limited for production, which is a state-of-the-art ultra-wideband six-channel digital receiver for fighter jets, that detects radio emissions of radar systems, like fire control radar of enemy fighter jet, or from a ground-based radar system of enemy surface-to-air missile system. The DRDO has transferred the technology of the counter drone system to five companies, that includes Adani Defense Systems, Icomtel Limited, Astra Microwave Limited, Larsen and Tubro Limited, and Electronic Corporation of India Limited. The counter drone system can detect, track and identify airborne drones using multiple sensors, and has both soft kill and hard kill capability.